Hi and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you a very useful little item that you can use with your Arduino and your XP. Uh, you may know uh, that there are so-called shields for the Arduino boards. So with this shield, um, yeah, there are sensors on this shield or displays or whatever. And you just plug in this shield into your Arduino board. So you don't have to solder anything, so it's ready to use. Just plug it in and then program your Arduino and you can use it. So, and one of these shields is this XP shield. Yeah, it's <laughs> like the name says, uh, for an XP and your Arduino. You just have to plug in your XP into the shield, pay attention to the direction, and then you just have to plug in this shield into your Arduino. So here you can see this little IC, ICSP connector, and here also on the Do Melanova board. So just plug it in there, and the rest of the pins will automatically, automatically go into the right holes. So now you're ready. So you can use your XP with your yeah with your Arduino now. You don't have to solder anything; just ready to communicate. Uh, the only thing you have to pay attention to um, are these little jumpers here on the side. So uh, they got two positions. Uh, the one position is XP, and the other is USB. So when you want to program your XP with a computer, uh, with a software XCTU, I already made a tutorial to this, um, you have to put these jumpers to USB and you have to uh, put your Arduino chip into reset mode. Yeah, that's just very simple, just connect uh, a wire from the reset pin to the ground pin or just snip off your Arduino chip uh, out of this socket. So when you've done this to USB and in the reset mode, the Arduino, just plug in the uh, USB cable and you can configure it your XP. When you've done everything, uh, yeah, just switch the jumpers back to XP and then uh, the XP can communicate to your Arduino chip. So yeah, you can receive wireless data or send data and yeah, that's the only thing to pay attention to. So yeah, it's a very useful uh, little shield. It's not necessary, of course. I showed you in my tutorial uh, without this shield, just wire it up on your breadboard or whatever. But yeah, you don't have to solder or wire something up with this shield. So for getting started with Arduino and XP, it's yeah very useful. So yeah, you will have to decide whether you want to spend uh, the 15 bucks for one of these or you want to use the method I showed you. So yeah, you will have to decide this. <laughs> I hope I could help you in your decision with this little video. So yeah, see you soon for the next video.